Greetings everyone, and welcome back at long last once again to the long dark. Uh, if you were around for the time that I was playing on Twitch, uh, thank you for attending that. We still have that character. They have not progressed. Um, in fact, I am mainly back because the 2.17 update dropped is the third part of, uh, let's see here, this stuff right here in the center there, Tales from the Far Territory Part 3, and they promised uh, or rather the devs, uh, we have cooking now. We have an enhanced cooking menu, we have skillet cooking and all of that. Um, so I decided it would be a great idea to uh, not break any of my old save files by starting a new one. I mean, I guess I can't really go back. I saw in the comments for the update lots of people were having some trouble with their old saves. The there, there's been some game changes. That all may be considered features, not bugs by the devs, I don't know. We'll go through some of it. But uh, I decided it would be great to start again in Hush River Valley. I played the same bit. Um, just a little. I had a little situation where I forgot to bring my little can with me. But we've since moved past that. Uh, however, for the life of me, I've explored three quarters of Hush River Valley's uh, usual spots. I have not yet found a hatchet despite being on easy difficulty. Uh, how matches do I have left? Three. I also don't have any matches. Uh, so that's been weird. Me recording check. Okay, yeah, we're going. Um, so basically, uh, and I needed to find the hatchet because the signal fire this time around is blocked by scrub brush that I seem to only go to bypass with a hatchet. Why do we need to get to the signal fire? Well one, it's warm, and two, there's normally a nice pile of good loot there. So I basically have spent like two hours prior to this racking my brain trying to figure this out and get to the right place and get the things we need and it hasn't worked out. I've gotten a lot of other good stuff. We got a revolver and a knife. Um, so it was good to come to Astro Valley. And there's a couple spots on the way. Let me actually reach over here and grab my phone. There's a couple spots along the way, on my way out of this place, where I might yet find a hatchet. And if I find one, we may turn right back around and go for the signal fire. I think bullets are gonna be less valuable than matches here, so come on, buddy. Really? One, the shot didn't scare him. Two... Two... Oh no, he did get hit. He just didn't get scared. Wow. Alright. That's not normally how that happens. Wait, where are my injuries? What? 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 I took some condition bar. I... my clothes aren't injured. Okay, game. Okay. Mainly picking that up so that we don't litter. Uh, I don't know what happened there, guys. Um, so yeah, there have been some changes. The change I'm going to tell you about right now. Remember how I used to love putting things down on the ground? So we would, we would go to the radial. And there's a drink option, you see it there in the bottom center, but there used to also be right-click to place, and that's gone now for most of the items in the radial, except for the things in the campcraft menu. I don't know what's happened there, or why, or if that change is intentional, or a bug. The devs aren't saying, because that's how they operate. Uh, you can still achieve the exact same thing by going into your menu, dropping an item, right-clicking it, and then you can place it as you used to. Uh, so there's that one pet peeve. But the rest of this has been great. There's there's so much. If you've been watching Long Dark Play or my videos, you'll you'll spot some things here when we uh, go to do stuff. I think. I keep going. 
Yeah, we don't know. That isn't quite a way up. Still crouching? Nope, I just feel strangely low to the ground. Ah, uh, no, okay. Like a real 21st century person, I am navigating with smartphone in my other hand. There we go, I'm going straight. There's our glitchy wolf. He is still experiencing a fear effect. So we we glitched him. Yeah, uh, okay. We're just gonna keep going and he's gonna go. And we're gonna we're gonna leave that crazy bug behind. Take his coal though. I'm gonna carry away. Almost maxed. Oh, and I saw the little birds that the devs that, that, that got added with this update. I don't know if I should say that the devs added or that got added. I don't know which one is appropriate. It's okay. Uh, there's definitely something over there. To get to see what that is, we're gonna have to uh, go through here and then get up that ridge. I think we actually go up just right here. Or left here, I should say. I've already been over there. It was horribly disappointing. I've checked like four spots out of, I don't know, seven or eight. We want to see that carcass there. It looks like there's another one. Do you see it? Um, there, those birds marking it for us. Well, let's see. This is anything or anyone of note. Not what we need right now. We have plenty of food. Uh, actually, we're quite cold. Mm. There isn't really anywhere to remedy that. But we need to follow this left hand edge up. Might get jumped by a wolf here, we'll see. Yeah, up to this climb. Uh, I don't need your rose hips right now, game. Okay, that looks promising. Oh, and a snow shelter. Wow. cooking pot. I haven't seen one of those yet. And some ski gloves. All this firewood. Do need to warm back up. Ah, oh, matches at long last and some bullets. Wow, okay, yeah, chonk, chonk a blue, chonk a blue. Um Like up and over. Checking map. Up and over. Okay, so marker indicates that's probably just a deer. Check all the little corners. For this little corner, anyway. I don't have the tools for this yet, do I? No. That would take a hatchet. Okay, check number one. Are we. Uh, Good enough. Let's just sit in here and warm up. Excellent. Ah, oh, I've already finished reading that. Yep. Okay. Well, I know I got some new clothes. Let's check our threads here. Uh. Spend a little time right here. Warming up. Hmm. 
all sorts of stuff. Now I think that I can check the one last spot. It's on my way out from here. I think we can do all of that in one one swoop with our remaining daylight. I don't know why the tin moved on the radial there. So yeah, there's weird stuff happening with the menu, but can't complain given how many... And also, this is my first time playing the game in, um, in, in widescreen. Look at that, boys, we're in 16x9. The future is mine. But uh, let's sleep for an hour. That'll help warm us up and restore a little condition. That's the main thing, is by the time I get to the cave, transition cave to the next zone, I'm gonna be, like, maybe not feeling so good. We have enough health bar to survive two wolf attacks. There should only be one wolf between us and Rebel. How do I get out of here? Oh, okay. I know someone in the game comments was saying uh, a glitched snow shelter. Uh, I don't think the one cloth is worth the time right now. Let's uh, go. Oh right, I'm heavy because I'm carrying just oodles. Ugly pile. It's okay. I might never be back here. That's the other thing is I wanted to start in Hush River Valley with the hope that I could get to the signal fire and get the goods and then never come back. So we got high wind. Uh, meaning that our uh, chances of lighting a torch to scare off Yonder Wolfie is uh, low. So we'll need to be using gun. And again, matches are still more valuable than bullets. We only have okay, 18 matches. Let's, let's see here. Oh, 20, 23. And I do have a fire striker as well. That was a. It's always a good find. It functions basically the same as a match for lighting fires. It just. Um, Okay, carcass. I was hoping I heard the birds and I was like, ah, oh, a human with a hatchet? No, no human, no hatchet. Uh, yeah, and I don't know if they, uh, if I've just been playing the game in 4x3 and so the game hasn't looked as good, or if it's I've been a long time away, or my graphics are on high. I don't know, but it feels good to be back. Be back. Uh, out, birds. All right, just shimmy this way. Oh god, there's our hatchet. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Damn it! Now I can't leave. I have to finish the quest. I have to go to the signal fire. That's the other things I got. I opened up the game because I was like, oh, cooking. And I was like, oh, let's go to the inhospitable area where cooking stuff probably doesn't spawn. I think I've already said that, but like, oh, Okay. We finally have good head covering. Uh, let me see. Okay. Good spot there. Just need to um, deal with some of our carry weight issues. One more stick down, we're good. Okay, and map check. Oh, I also earned my my fourth badge. Got this one. Yeah. Which is cool, but not terribly useful so far. Okay. No roughly how to do this. Okay. The other thing is that without a hatchet, um, 
traveling in Hushroom Valley, I've learned the hard way it's very linear. But I'm glad I have a hatchet now. I've also just been kind of playing like... There's an extreme of a risk-taking mode as I... Um, would think to. Like... I'm not as risky as some people I've seen play, but... I've just been jumping in and sprinting everywhere and staring down my foes. Going very thin on resources, not really uh, leaving anything behind to stay anywhere, not organizing anything. Again, the idea being to one and done this zone. Um, move on to spending our, you know, hundred odd days of a playthrough somewhere else. I may just say goodbye to my other save files, like... <sighs> the one that's at 99 days is basically done. Remember the journal reads 100, so we consider it a victory. Um, and the Twitch run... Well, nothing special really happened there. Mostly I broke a lot of ribs versus moose. If we go... I don't know where that wolf is. Hopefully he's bled out by now. I slept in that shelter a lot, so... Fingers crossed that he's downed. Okay. Now... This, this is... Uh, yeah, this is the one. Sure we're not being observed. Because what we're about to do absolutely would never work outside of the video game. Man, those gloves look hilarious. Strip it all off, we go in. Bam. Just like that. No. Sure, we'll take a stick. We run. There's my fire from earlier. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. We're on this way. You may not be able to see it all right now. That's okay. The main thing you need to know is there's a second bit of falls right here. After which we're gonna get dressed again. Ah! Ah! Take some damage. And to to a degree, the idea of like Taking off your clothes and then going through water is fine, as long as you could, you know, get your clothes back on later. Oh, it just equips random stuff. Okay. So that's my bad shirt. Bam. Those are my bad gloves. Bam. Okay. I'm also finding with the new monitor I can actually see in these caves. I don't know if I changed my brightness settings or what. I've already been through and looted all this, so it's not uh, much of a deal. But it's uh, dark. Not a big deal. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, this way, I think. Left. Nope, dead end. But yeah, I think the changes to item placement uh, our side effect of trying to make the game more friendly toward console players. Um, oof, that is something. Uh, and I say that because there are other changes to, like, cooking placement of items that have to do, that are adjacent. Quality? Oh, that's just what light looks like when you turn it all the way up. Okay, well, we're just not gonna look at it. It's... It's okay from a certain angle. Okay, we go this way. Sticks. See, now I'm well and truly not sure where I am. But that's okay. We're warming up. Ah, oh, here we are. Big, big opening. There's our rope. 
No, nothing. Okay. Well, that stamina regenerates, so I'll eat a little bit of this here pineapple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, more new items in the game. There's some named pistols, obviously, and there's uh, the new items from the ptarmigans, and there's the cooking skillet, and there's uh, flour and cooking oil, and that kind of stuff. Somewhere out in the world, we'll get there. First we have to do this quest and escape Hidden River or Hush River Valley. Okay, but that gets me up top here. From here, should be a fairly simple thing to go this way. Well, that was kind of scary looking on the wall there. Left, right, left. Ah, yes, this way. That's our exit. Is this my fire pit? Oh, and that gut is cured. Okay, that gets me back to here. Um, how close am I to the thing? I think I'm close enough to the thing if I exit there. Yeah. Uh, we will sleep for a minute just to rewarm some. There should be uh, a snow shelter or something at the signal fire. There's a very small chance that we'll be jumped by a wolf here, but that's going to be a nope on the wolfening. He's normally over there, over that ridge. So, we'll sprint. This upper area of Husher Valley is where I was stranded during my first ever save file. I was stuck here for something like 15 days before I found one of the many ways down. My ribs were also crushed, so I couldn't use that little rope that you just saw me use. Okay. Well, now we're here. Just get through these. There we are. And go. It doesn't matter that our character gets tired, because we're going to sleep up ahead. Here. Okay. This. That's what I've been trying for hours to get to. I think the birds are actually lower than me. Sleeping with the corpse down below. Aw oh, man, looks nice here. You can huddle up to the fire. Oh, it's not. It's not warm enough. Feels like zero there. It's like negative one there. So it's only a one degree fire. Those two is a little message. Has the message always been here? Read text. Oh, thanks. Your mother, this thing. Yes. Okay, now we have more carrying capacity. That's what I always dreamed of. Oh. But all of Eglins. Wow. Oh. Free moose meat. Nice. It's a feather. Oh, here you are. Oh, oh, another hatchet. Like the game is trying to taunt me. Look. Gone for so long without hatchets. Here, have another. Perfect. All right then. And the sewing kits. All right. Well, well. Good stuff. All of that. I wonder if I can drop any of this here. Oh, drop nothing. Can we search this. Yes. Okay. 
first order of business, let's check Maglin's fire capability. That'll be a no. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stay up for a bit. Go ahead and light that. Go here. Go here. And start the torch. Good stuff. There you go, we got two hatchets. Come on, little fire. Carry all of you. We'll go back down the cave the way we came in, probably. Oh yeah. I don't think there's a faster way. I will now see this place button. It's not always there, nor was this crafting button. That's new stuff. Pop a leader in there. Another thing. What do we need all these cans? Yeah, see now. We have a different menu for certain things. Uh, oh, that's it. Oh, do I have to select the pork and bean can out of this radial now? You used to be able to do this by uh, using that function that's gone now. So you would hold spacebar and you would go here and you would right click. And you put it down, right? That's, that's not a thing anymore. And I think they got rid of it because they added this, but they didn't, maybe they didn't think that people were, were using this to right click and put stuff down to decorate their bases. I don't know. Or organize their things. Percentage is this, 56. Okay. Hmm. But, so, uh, I like where they're going with it. Can we, can I show you the cookie menu without, yes I can, here we are. So look at all this, all this stuff. It tells you the time in advance and some sort of buff going on there maybe. There's cooking pot recipes. So freaking cool. We need running river oats. Whatever those are, wherever those come from, we want them. So that's been cooked. Good. Some water we can boil. There we are. We don't get chomped on by anything. It'll be fine. So we actually need to shave weight. So we'll prepare tea instead of other things. Um, and how's our torch supply? Turn that back into a stick. Oof. I feel like this noise got more detailed than before. Oh, it's done. Yep. Oh, and I can't just right click to, mm, to drop water. Ugh. So that's an example of that working against us. I have to go inventory and go to here and go to drop. So much effort. And we're just going to put down that amount for now to help with our encumbrance issues. Um, I know we're making more, but. Go ahead. 
Oh, put that, but it's down here. Quirks of Interface, man. This game is, is old. It's been in development for... Oh, I think we're closing on literally over a decade now. So it's not all gonna quite click together like it should. Unfortunately. Oh, I have so much charcoal. Can I drop things in here? No. Can I map? Haha, <laughs> I can map hole in a snow shelter. I didn't know. Nice. Oh, we're going to try and sleep for... Sleep for four hours and see where our uh, stats are. Strange thing. Oh. Oh, well, I think we'll just be staying right in here then. Mm -hmm. We need to finish. Why is that such low condition? I didn't realize it was so low when I started on it. Yeah, we're just going to stay in here nice and cozy. <laughs> oh. With all our, our gear we've gotten, we're actually... Oh, it's so, it's so strange to not be freezing. I didn't know what it felt like. Oh, there it is. There's the freezing. Okay, can we offset that? Oh, not quite. Okay. Oh, well, I can't, can't access the fire menu. I believe you used to be able to do that. Oh, oh, I don't think, I don't think we can fit a fire in front of that. Um, shelter, single fire. Nope, single fire doesn't count. All right. Uh, one, uh okay. Just go back in for now. We are going to try and just offset the heat loss by sleeping because it gives us the warmth bonus. Oh, okay. That's better. And then we'll look again. Okay, it's still oh, just ticked the other way. So we're probably good for a few hours. Nice. We are still losing heat. But I think we'll make it through and then we'll, we'll warm up again in the ice cave and then we'll lose it all when we run through the water anyway, so... Uh, we're probably safe to conk out for four hours. And, uh, recording check. It also lets me, like, the videos upload in HD now. So that's new and strange to me. Okay, we're good to... wish there were, like, a spacebar option to exit these things, but you have to, like, look to the side. Oh, all the help I'm trapped in a snow shelter posts, you know? stuff, you know. Again, don't think I'll ever be back here. But we really can afford to put some of that down. Man, this pack is getting kinda heavy. It's all water that we'll probably just end up drinking on our way down, so. Lose my bedroll, right? Paranoia, paranoia. Okay, we're good. Oh, that was what I wanted to drop. A ton of this. Okay, I can't quite drop enough to cure myself. The weight issue. We'll just sprint. Oh, it would be nice if I could cure myself with the weight issue, though. Is it worth dropping my precious water? No. 
All this water and fuel means getting to do nothing while I sit by the fire and hang out. Um, yeah, I think the fastest way is going to be to go back through the ice caves, through that little area we were just in minutes ago, and then out of HRV. And hopefully in Mountain Town I'll find this mysterious skillet. Be able to do stuff. I would like to be at full, full condition. Um, please, no jump me, wolf. Given how the weather's turning, a good time to go indoors and uh, warm back up. Sure. Threat. I've never felt so cold. It's gonna be fine. There we are. Back inside. Oh, very dark. Okay. Um. Oh. Right, I cannot even really navigate, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was actually stupid close to where I wanted to be. Um, oh, that's where I left it. Right there. Alright. We don't need to do any cooking. And filling our warmth gauge all the way up will be pointless. Alright, uh, okay. A little over on weight. Which means we can't climb down the rope, we'll have to shimmy down the rocks instead. That's okay. But yeah, there's no point uh, trying to fill up a warmth meter because we're going to be running through that water again. And that is going to, uh, kill it. You know? Okay, normally where there's, whenever there's a rope like this, or a overhang, there's normally like a spot to the right here where you can just plop down without breaking your legs, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. And as we shed torches, we will, uh, Slowly get back to normal move speed. Ooh, a flare. I missed that somehow last time. Well, because I was walking in the other direction. I also tried to do some of this completely in the dark. I remember that. Again, mere minutes ago. Alright, light him up. Uh, dead end. Take it. Torch. Okay, well, we've gone torch neutral. That's okay. We've done the signal fire. We have all of our, our gear. We have all the time in the world to uh, get where we're going. Uh, between the ice cave exit, though, and our next destination, which is just the Mountain Town Transition Cave, there's not a lot in the way of, um, shelter. Shelter is the word. So we'll have to do that in one stretch. Unless we're gonna climb up that little cliff and get into that, uh, snow shelter that you saw me in earlier. But yeah, this, um, the other thing about The Long Dark is you should play it how you want. Uh, just bear in mind that the game becomes drastically easier with map knowledge. Like, you've heard me say, like, oh, I'm gonna look at me a uh, map on my phone now. Uh, that really kills the difficulty of the game to a large degree. But, um, now there are still difficult things. It just depends on how you want to play and what kind of person you are. There isn't a bad way, there's just the way you want to play. 
Hear the water? All right. Okay, that's where we need to be. Throw that down. Here. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Try and do this blind. Oh! This is God, yeah. freezing. Okay. Oh, we have the thermite again. All right. So we're gonna go wiggly, wiggly splitty quick here, cause. Okay, it is daytime on the other end of this. Uh. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Again, there might be reasons that they're messing with the place menu. Uh. Oh, I could have gone further. I don't seem to be able to sprint. My shift key isn't, uh... Oh, they're sticky keys. Go away. Nobody wants you. Oh! Oh! Eh? Eh? It's gonna make me wet on the way out of it. Yep, there it is. all our stuff back on. Uh, we're still very warm. Or, I mean, we're still very cold, I should say. Right, which way am I facing? Left, I think, is the way I need to go. Am I correct in that guess? Yes, I am. Left. The other thing is I've spent so many literal hours lost in the sim. I don't feel bad about cheesing it with the map. I've been here so much and yet learned nothing, obviously. Even in a very forgiving video game, I'm likely to die in the woods. In Canada winters, anyway. I just picked those. No matter. We're carrying too much stuff as it is. In fact, lighten our load a bit that way too. I'm kind of banking on it warming back up as we go forward. I don't know whether the weather is kicking off or calming down right here. Yeah, we didn't get instant wolf jumped, so we're good. One of my earliest videos was getting jump scared coming over the opposite ridge there. And the auto-generated thumbnail put the wolf dead center. Uh, good times. <sighs> we're on our way out of this hellhole. I mean, it's, it's not a terrible map, but... The RNG has been terrible to me this time, so... You know, I would think with all this stuff I would be warming up. But it's not the case. Looks like I made it through another night. It was just balls freezing this morning.
Does it look like we can go up the right hand side? No, I didn't miss anything. This is just the way you have to go. Alrighty then. Weirdest thing with that wolf. Okay. We can cross here. And if we advance up further, should be a spot, I think, up there. Might have some tools. And then we're basically done with the zone. Oh, our torch went out. Winds something. Yeah, over there. Maybe further up. No, I think that's the spot. We just have to get around to it. Wakey wakey, Astrid. Let's go this way, which I think is where I'm supposed to be going. Hmm. Perhaps. Oh, nope, I was correct. I did, I did consult the map there. Oh, now. Oh, generous game today. Uh, since we're here, we're taking this. Um, now oh, it's a brand new day. Question is, will this warm me up? Even if I sleep. Mm. Okay, well then just to get rid of that debuff, I'll take the sleep. And I suppose I'll check and see if we've hit the one hour mark on this video. And on point. Alrighty then. Okay, so that helped a little. While we're safely ensconced, let's just chow down. Whatever's not going bad in our inventory, which honestly is slim pickings. Hmm. Excuse me. Eh? Interesting. Here, there is no pause recording button. Hmm. Oh well. I guess you guys will have to endure a little bit of this screen. Weird. On Windows, no pause recording button. On Linux, I get a pause recording button. Oh, I see. Okay. Nothing terrible wrong with that. On my phone. Let's press on. Do I? If I don't, we'll warm up soon. Um, the wind is better. Let's try carrying a flame. It does actually help a little. Oh, not enough. Let's get out of this cursed place. Oh. Don't lose any more health. So we just go to here. I was about to say, I remember there being a big arse hill here. And there it is. There it is. Sleep cycle is going to get all turned around in game. Well, 
almost out of here. You can see the horizontal tree across there. It's part of the pathway to the most isolated cave in the game, the Lonely Cave. But yeah, we definitely need to have ourselves some super dynamic resting time because our health is getting into the danger zone. We don't want to be below half because when you're below half you might get insta-killed by a creature. That would be bad. Yeah, I think the last time I made a Long Dark video was when the radio had been released. And I found the radio to be sorely disappointing. Like... You were there, you probably watched it. I got the thing, I went, I followed the mechanics. And it led me to nothing. So I don't know whether that's me, whether the mechanics, I was not following them correctly, or whether the zone was not marked properly. I have heard reports both ways from other players. Uh, we're just gonna follow the right hand wall and see how it goes, honestly. Once again, with no real intent to return this way ever, since we've done the signal fire, got our double hatchet. Ooh, hi. Give me your stuff. This will come in handy. Oh, thank you. A lot of firewood we don't need. Big room. Nothing terribly Ooh. interesting going on in it this time. And a very tired character. Oh, and this is just the way up and out. Alright. Well, that's easy. I think we will encamp right here. Probably closer than it needs to be. Eh? Oh, one more over. There we go. I also need fresh torches. So. And we're very, very much out of um, stamina. That's not what I wanted. That rocked it. Throw the torch. Thank you. The old menu was faster. So there's that going for it. My, they're both at 20%. They duplicate. Oh, I found that one after the other one. So, hmm. Plan on sleeping, so. Kind of want to eat those first because they're heavy. Two, one, three minutes, ten minutes. So, we'll take just a few of those minutes. Since we're still looking to shave carry weight, we'll do things like prepare those. I have two cooking pots now, so I don't really ever need to carry the cans. I feel like I'm gonna die. 
don't know if I need to use the medicine menu for this. Um, yeah, Rishi tea is the correct counter thingy. Hello. There um, I'm going to need to rest soon. Those things. Oh, I need salt and ptarmigan. Those birds. I like how it literally says requires things you don't have. I feel like you don't have in all caps really just psh, punches in that. Okay, it looks like it's all gated behind needing broth. So we have a reason to hunt those silly birds. Ooh, that was a weird clunky noise given what I was doing. Will it do it again? Oh yeah, a clunk. Oh, like a cupboard opening, but there's no cupboard here. They've done some things to the soundscape. Some of it good, some of it, mm, some of it I wonder about. But again, overall, I think this is a good update. I expect there will be a bug fixie of some kind soon. Um, did say I need torches. Let's check how that situation really looks. Uh, harvest. Ditch home for old torches. Oh, I don't hear the water boiling anymore either. Ooh. Ah, no, that's the wrong noise game. Something has gone wrong with our, our sound stuff. I'm done with this book. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Wow. Lots of fire. More fire than I had planned on. Not a very good one. Passable. Oh, now, now the sounds have been restored. Nice. Oh yeah, the fire noise wasn't playing either, was it? Yeah, now I've just given up on just taking. Taking whatever torch. Oh, there it goes. Oh. I don't like it. Just go to sleep. Maybe that'll fix this horrible sound issue. First time it's done this since I started playing again today. But that's gonna let us save. Um, yeah, it's middle of night, and I think uh, we're gonna we're gonna call it there. I think we've gone on long enough. Could use a break. My computer's probably gonna give me hell uploading such a large video. The increased resolution really ups the file size. Can't really keep an archive anymore. Uh, but uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat rambly, perhaps a little complainy uh, journey through the new update. And uh, yeah, hopefully we will find a skillet and the other stuff that we need in Mountain Town. Uh, and be able to do some of this cool new cooking business. Bye-bye uh, for now.